Hello, Pan and Sebasi. I am here at uh, JFK. Hello, Pan and Sebasi. I'm here in Las Vegas. My name is David Orban, and I am the CEO of DotSub, a New York-based startup, as well as I am on the faculty and an advisor to Singularity University and a trustee of Network Society Research, a London-based nonprofit. I'm going to talk to you about exponentials, networks, and platforms. The exponential function is one of the most important that we have to understand. Really, the best example to illustrate the power of the exponential function is the Human Genome Project, a 15-year effort that after the first seven years was only 1% through and cost $3 billion. But actually, not only it achieved its goal by the year 2000, but it did not stop there. But today it is possible to have a complete genome sequenced for only $2,000. This is the exponential function, confusing at the beginning and obvious when its power presents itself. The best known example we have is Moore's Law. With ever increasing power in our computers, our mobile phones and our sensor networks, through the competing efforts of engineering groups all around the world that get adopted everywhere. This confounds experts, as well illustrated in an analysis by Vinod Kosla, a renowned Silicon Valley investor, through the diffusion of mobile phones. Today's society is born out of our infrastructure and the networks that we have built. What in the age of pyramids could only be dreams of the slaves that wanted justice and emancipation is now achieved in our globally interconnected society where networks create opportunity for everybody. Paul Crutzen, the Nobel Prize winning chemist, calls our geological era the Anthropocene. And this is a certainly unsustainable, characterized by the human presence on the planet creating an unsustainable situation where we have to ask ourselves if the only difference between dinosaurs and us is that they didn't have telescopes and if we are going to use them to catch the incoming asteroid or metaphorically if we are using the tools of science and reason to understand the world around us. For the past 500 years Centralized and hierarchical organizations, such as the nation-state and our enterprises, have been extremely successful. And today, they are being potentially substituted by network-based, decentralized and distributed systems, both in society and in our enterprises, in what I call the network society. The organizations that create value-added decentralized platforms are extremely powerful and the changes are already visible. In the beginning of the 20th century, an S&P 500 company at the pinnacle of its success could expect to be there for over 60 years, while today this is only 15 years. And new types of organizations are leveraging exponential features and are morphing themselves in order to take advantage of them, achieving 10 times better performance than others in all kinds of different industries, not only in IT, but in transportation, logistics and elsewhere. Salim Ismail, the founding executive director of Singularity University, published a book called Exponential Organizations that analyzes and teaches how it is possible to understand these phenomena and leverage them. Entirely new industries are being born 
out of the new information layers that go from video to social networks to health data center networks and the internet of things with unexpected consequences what is for example like robotic cars eliminating the main cause of death between the ages of 20 and 35 and as such the replacement organs incentivating the birth of a new industry of 3d printed organs for implantation or the possibility of our computers understanding and writing emotions in what I call the new frontier of emotional computing. How will the insurance industry react to the fact that what used to be an unknown bundling of statistical risk is now being perfectly and personally analyzed through genome sequencing available to everybody. Huge values of trillion dollar industries are going to be created through the worldwide internet infrastructure and the exponential networks that this infrastructure enables. Some of the principles that are common to these solutions are transparency, the respect of identity and trust the possibility of anybody anywhere at any time gaining access to open source distributed and decentralized solutions where we try to understand and we fail repeatedly in order to find the best solutions through progressive opportunities for learning. We innovate and we invent finding the answers to be building blocks for new questions, bridging the gap of ignorance, and building sustainable competitiveness through innovation. We adopt the new solutions in order to adapt to the new conditions. And the question is, will you and can you join this future together with us? Thank you. Thank you.